Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're taking a look at the ROG Ally X versus the Steam Deck OLED. And we're trying to find out which is the better portable gaming device. Now, we know the Steam Deck has been around for a while. The OLED is the current most popular option that's available that is also part of the original Steam Deck line. It's not a Steam Deck 2. Similar to the ROG Ally X, which is part of the ROG Ally line, you call it a 1.5 upgrade here. Now, both of these devices can play a lot of your PC games, uh, but they, of course, uh, this is all locked into Steam while this is Windows based. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at each device before we start comparing them. And we'll start off with the ROG Ally X. Now, it looks like an Ally, and if I compare it to the original Ally right here, which is in white, it comes in black while the original Ally is in white. You can see the similarities in terms of the overall look, but there are some clear differences. One is actually just the button placements here. So you can see the amount of travel to my fingers here is something quite hard to notice, but over here, it's much quicker. It's, it's very simple, very small, but you get the idea here. Now, uh, a lot of things are similar in terms of, of course, like the speaker grill layout, but there are also differences with things like the thumbsticks. So let's start off here with the thumbsticks feel much better. They feel more, um, I, I wouldn't say more rigid, but basically they have more give so that it doesn't feel like you're gonna get uh, a stick drift in any form or fashion. The D-pad is definitely improved. The D-pad here has better ridges, a line for me doing Hadoukens much easier on this device that I'll tell you. Speaker grill feels the same, but the grip area is much different. It's got a much bigger grip than the original Steam Deck. Uh, <clears throat> it's got a better grip than the original um, ROG Ally, which you can see is much lighter here. And also this is smaller. Now, taking a look here, you see our, of course, additional programmable buttons are smaller, so there's less there's less likelihood for you to actually basically tap them by mistake. Biggest grill here at the back for venting. And then on the top, this buttons here feel just a little bit better and just more pronounced. And also I like the, the texture around here. Now we have our power button, fingerprint sensor, headphone jack, micro SD card slot, some more vents, your volume rocker. And now we have two USB type C ports. If we go to our original Ally, we had a USB port and of course that proprietary port that you can connect, of course, an external hard drive. That's no longer there, um, but we do have USB Type-C ports here. I do wish one of these ports was at the bottom, so it just make it easier to charge while gaming. And you can use, also connect this to a different device, depending on how thick your ports are. But overall, it does look similar. I would agree to that, but it feels very comfortable and also a little bit heavier, but I do like the heft to it. It kind of gives it much more of a premium feel to it. The display here, this is a seven inch display. Uh, this is full HD, uh, this is 120 Hertz. This is not an OLED display. That's a big distinction with the Steam Deck. So I'm gonna just set that for a second and pick up my Steam Deck OLED. Now, Steam Deck OLED is very different in the sense that, first of all, your triggers on top, and this is the special edition versions, one terabyte, you can see the kind of see-through nature. And also I like that, I love the orange accents around the device, which is pretty nice. You do have your D-pad here, so you do have your touch pads here, yeah, especially if you're using for shooters, which I still do not use well, I'm sorry. Uh, XBYA buttons, again, this is also a nice travel trajectory here, which is good to see. D-pad here is solid. Um, and then you've got, of course, your shoulder buttons, your trigger buttons here. You've got a, a power, USB Type-C port, vent, headphone jack, volume rocker, uh, and there's only one USB Type-C port. There is a micro SD card slot at the bottom, and then you have your programmable buttons here. Now, I don't like these here, just because I tend to grip this way. Uh, so you kind of have to kind of leave your grip open, in, so you don't actually mistakenly press those buttons. But Again, I do like this look of the Steam Deck. To me, it's very nice. Um, this is a more of an aesthetic look. I, I would like to see more devices on. Now, this is an OLED display. This is a 7.4 inch OLED display. Uh, it's a 90 Hertz refresh rate. So right here on displays, this has a better display, but this has a better refresh rate. So that's something to take note. And in terms of hardware, I do like both. 
a hardware in general for both the Steam Deck and the R Steam Deck OLED and the ROG Ally X. But I do like the fact that this is smaller in terms of footprint than the Steam Deck OLED. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of games. Street Fighter VI, uh, also looking at Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Benchmarks, and finally Cyberpunk 2077.
So here we have both devices powered on and you can see the way the menu systems are set up. With the Steam Deck, with the Steam Deck OLED, you have that traditional Steam OLED, um, Steam. Okay. okay, now, no, sorry, let me start this again. Now we have both devices powered on. You can see what they look like in terms of the menu system and how the screen actually reacts. The OLED screen is lovely. This is still a nice screen, but I wish it was an OLED display. But you're looking at the Steam Deck, you can see first off you go in, you can see all your games that you have and you can go into your library. Some of the new games are added on Steam sale, which is pretty nice to actually pick up. Uh, and then you can of course jump into each game. You have your uh, Steam menu behind the Steam button, go into the library. You can see all your games here that you actually own, the store, media, download settings and so forth. Then you also have this Steam quick settings menu, allowing you to go in to customize things in your quick settings, like your performance layers, frame rates, caps, things like that, if you want to, uh, and so on and so forth. So it's a very clean system, and this is something Steam has done really well in making it very easy to use the Steam Deck OLED. Uh, it's the fact that you have a very clean game-centric interface that you can use. <laughs> Now, the ROG Ally X has its own interface here, and uh, this is one that, you know, once you launch the device, you either can go to the Windows menu or you can go here. And now this is, of course, the new Armor Crate here, and this gives you more of that option as well. But this ties into all the multiple services you have. So uh, because this is Windows based, you have access to more stores than Steam. I do have access to Steam here. I can go to Xbox Game Cloud. I can also go to EA app. Uh, 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 GOG Galaxy, Ubisoft Connect. I can also go to things like, uh, um, I can go to uh, Battle.net as well. So you have that option here. And then you can also go to the different games that you have in your library. So you can move over to Left Trigger. You can see I have Tekken here, Tomb Raider, uh, Sifu, Doom Eternal, Cyberpunk, and Street Fighter. And then you can have favorite games, which I haven't selected. But then we move tabs at the very top with our right and left uh, bumpers. I have my um, control mode or control center. I can actually edit that to whichever items I want. And that's quickly accessed by any of these, one of these buttons right here. And then I can go in here into the campaign to see what deals are available. I can also set up my macros if I want to. And then of course, global services as well. So you get the idea, this is nice. Uh, this is also a nice feature to have just because it allows me to have the games and also some of that easy access. I still like the way Steam is because it just starts off that way, but I do like the freedom of having more platforms to choose games from because I have games on different platforms uh, available. Now you do have this command center here and here in the command center is where you can do stuff like you find in the quick settings. And this can be accessed while gaming or you know, of course within the home menu or in this menu. You've got your performance operating. This is at 15 uh, watts, which is what the Steam Deck is capped as. You can move all the way up to 25. So you can go into 25 in turbo mode or you go down to 10 and you get the idea. You've got, of course, game profiles. You can also turn off your FPS limits. You can also manage this game library in different ways. So you do have a lot of options. It's very customizable and it goes to that user experience. So what is the gaming experience like on both devices and how do they feel? So when it comes to performance, I think both of them do a really good job. I do like the fact that the ROG Ally X here has a 25 watt TDP. So I, I do feel like I'm getting better performance in certain games over the Steam Deck OLED. Not saying that the Steam Deck OLED cannot compete, but I do like that extra performance here. And the 24 gigs of RAM ensures that I can do more tasks at once and also play the games quite effectively compared to, of course, the 16 here on the Steam Deck OLED. Not saying the Steam Deck OLED is incapable, I'm just saying that that extra RAM and also that higher TDP also goes a long way. Now, the other thing to note is the fan of the ROG Ally X can actually kick up quite a bit. You can hear that here, I'm just bringing it closer to my microphone so you can actually pick that up. Uh, but it's not that loud, honestly, from the position where you're holding it to play, it, it actually doesn't sound that loud. And when it comes to battery life while gaming with both devices, for this video, just testing for the video for about two hours or so, 
my um, Steam Deck OLED is down to about, let's see, 23%, while my ROG Ally X is down to 54. That 80 watt hour battery compared to the 50 watt hour battery in the Steam Deck OLED goes a long way. So bigger battery here on the ROG Ally X is really fantastic to see. Now when it comes to accessories, you do have the original case uh, that you can purchase separately for the ROG Ally. Will work for your ROG Ally X. So that actually works here, but it's a separate purchase. Meanwhile, the Steam Deck OLED does come with a hard shell case, but this case actually has two sections which kind of open up and revealing, reveals this inner case here, which is pretty cool, but also this is very portable. So I can put my Steam Deck in here, close it up, and I have a much smaller still hard shell case to carry around. I do love this and I think every manufacturer should actually go ahead and do that. But the quick question here is, what do you think? Do you think the ROG Ally X is better and a worthwhile improvement, especially when you look at the likes as the Steam Deck OLED? And do you think it's worth that purchase? Leave your thoughts down below, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.